fish by Peter H. Reynolds. Raymond loved to draw anytime, anything, anywhere. One day, Raymond was drawing a vase of flowers. His brother Leon leaned over his shoulder. Liam burst out laughing. <laughs> what is that? He asked. Raymond could not even answer. He just crumpled up the drawing and threw it across the room. Leon's laughter haunted Raymond. He kept trying to make his drawings look right, but they never did. After many months and many crumpled sheets of paper, Raymond put his pencil down. I'm done. Marisol, his sister, was watching him. What do you want? He snapped. I was watching you, she said. Raymond sneered. I'm not drawing. Go away. Marisol ran away, but not before picking up a crumpled sheet of paper. Hey! Come back here with that. Raymond raced after Marisol up the hall and into her room. He was about to yell, but fell silent when he saw his sister's walls. He stared at the crumpled gallery. This is one of my favourites, Marisol said, pointing. That was supposed to be a vase of flowers, Raymond said but it doesn't look like one. Well, it looks vase-ish, she exclaimed. Vase-ish? Raymond looked closer. Then he studied all the drawings on Marisol's walls and began to see them in a whole new way. They do look ish, he said. Raymond felt light and energised, thinking ishly, allowed his ideas to flow freely. He began to draw what he felt, loose lines quickly springing out without a worry. Raymond once again drew and drew the world around him, making an ish drawing felt wonderful. He filled his journals, tree-ish, house-ish, boat-ish, afternoon-ish, fish-ish, sun-ish. Raymond realised he could draw ish feelings too. Peace-ish, silly-ish, excited-ish. His ish art inspired ish writing. He wasn't sure if he was writing poems, but he knew they were poem-ish. Ponder, pond, ponder, dream, yonder, pond, pond, yond, yond, gleam, wonder. By Raymond. One spring morning, Raymond had a wonderful feeling. It was a feeling that even ish words and ish drawings could not capture. He decided not to capture it. Instead, he simply savoured it. And Raymond lived ishfully ever after. The End